Hey everybody, Chromar with TG and here bringing you Javal Fleet Action. This is one of the early space combat missions on the Republic side for Star Wars The Old Republic. And the basic mission here is very simple. We're going to destroy five of the six special interceptors. There's two of them right there. Can't miss them. they got a big yellow circle around them. It does recommend using a missile, and I use one, but you don't have to. Uh, I'm actually going to spend most of my missiles just spamming at random objectives in, in the fleet. Because this is one of the introductory missions, it's actually quite easy. If you're having trouble with this mission or with any of the other introductory missions, you might want to check the Starship Upgrades vendor. It's on the fleet. Make sure you have the full suite of Rank 1 upgrades. It's six different items. They don't cost much, so don't worry about that. And once you get those upgrades, you'll find that this becomes dramatically easier. As I'm doing a flyby on this frigate, I decided to destroy as much of it as I could, just uh, really for fun. You don't actually need to do that. Um, you do get a bonus mission for the turrets, though, but you can easily get all 50 just by killing the interceptors. During downtime, if you stop firing your blaster, your shields will slowly recharge. This is a very important upgrade, and it makes your ship last a great deal longer, uh, through these, especially through these longer missions. Also, don't crash in any asteroids. That's pretty important. We're already about halfway done with our bonus mission. That's how easy it is. And we're waiting just basically for these interceptors to appear so we can destroy them. Two of them are going to appear shortly, and the last two will appear at the very last 30 seconds of the mission. Now our other objective has popped up. This is the special ship that pops up about halfway through the mission. You can take this guy down with just a whole bunch of missiles. He's very, very easy. You want to target him with your left click while also spamming the missiles, and you can destroy him this quickly. You do have a lot of time to kill him, though, so if you can't kill him this quick, don't worry. You'll still get him. The most important thing is to make sure that you have your upgrades so you have enough missiles and you have enough blaster power to take him down. Another tip is that you can move your ship with WASD while you're also moving the mouse. If you're worried about aiming at the guy at the top of the screen and you're worried about crashing into the asteroid at the top of the screen, you can hold S to stay along the bottom while you shoot at the guy along the top. So that's going to make 4 out of 5 for our objectives. We've completed everything except destroying the last ship for our primary objective. That's going to pop up at the 30 second mark. In the meantime, I'm just going to spend my missiles destroying objectives on the capital ship here because I enjoy watching things explode. Unfortunately, there is no bonus mission here, not at this level. If you were to come back to this mission at a much higher level, you're going to find that there's extra bonus objectives from destroying parts of the capital ship. The reason for that is to encourage you to come back and earn extra fleet commendations by completing those daily quests. Those extra fleet commendations can be used to purchase level 50 purple gear, which you can sell in the auction house for a tidy profit. Here's our last two guys. I'm just going to take them down quickly to complete the quest. So, we've completed the mission. Let's calculate the jump to light speed and take off. This has been Cromar with TGN.